Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and with the US Open only a week away, there are some players that played very well last year that have a lot of points to defend at this year's event. We all know Raducanu is the defending champion, but let's go through the players that played well here last year and what sort of points they have to defend. So let's start with the WTA. So last year, players that made the semifinals or better, we had Sabalenka and Zachary both making the semifinals. They're going to have to defend 780 points over the next two weeks. And they're both in the top 10, so they're playing for their ranking. Of course, Fernandez with the runner-up. She had 1,300 points to defend. And Raducanu with those 2,000 points. So a lot of players who are up the top of the rankings have the US Open as their sole source of points. And we could see some massive drops if those players don't do well over the next few weeks. Let's go have a look at the ATP now. Having a look at the semifinals onwards, last year we had Zverev, Oje Aliassime both making the semis. Now we know Zverev isn't playing, so he's going to drop down the ranks after losing those 720 points he made last year. But Felix Oje Aliassime, I think a lot of people forget that he actually made it this far last year. I know I did. Djokovic has 1,200 points to defend, and Medvedev's got 2,000 points to defend. So he has a lot of points up for grabs, the world number one. And if he doesn't go back to back or at least make the final, Final, his number one ranking is at stake. Let's go have a look at the players that haven't got any points to defend, or at least don't have that many points to defend. Rafa Nadal here has zero points to defend, so everything that he does at the US Open will add to his total, meaning that he might be able to be world number one by the end of the event. Paola Badosa, she also has only 70 points to defend, which means that she can sort of play the US Open without that burden of losing her spot in the rankings. Cam Norrie, he's only got 10 points to defend after a poor US Open last year, so... He also will be looking to add to his total. And Coco Goff, she has only 70 points to defend at this year's US Open as well. So if she has a good run and she is healthy, she could go back up the rankings and finally break in the top 10. So there are four players that have nothing to lose at this US Open, which might help them with no pressure of losing their ranking. So there you go. There are the players that have a lot of points to defend because of what they did last year. And of course, the players that don't have anything to defend, they can play for free. And of course, that Rafa... Medvedev battle that's going for the world number one. That's going to be very interesting to see. Let me know down in the comments below. Is Rafa going to be world number one? And what is it going to look like after these two weeks in the rankings?